guys. I've had a couple requests from a few different people uh, asking me to make a, an update video. Not really on my hair because obviously it's just existing and growing. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is my dog, Helena, by the way. Uh, I've had her since April. I got her from a pound. Hey, baby. And uh, she's my best friend. She's the first dog I've ever really had. Um, okay. <laughs> I love you too. Uh, but it's been really like... It's been an obstacle because I don't like quite understand dog communication yet. So it's hard for me to know like what she wants and what she needs. She kind of has a like a... Like a coughing condition where like when she gets super excited or uh, just like exercises a lot she starts like hacking up nothing every now and then something comes out but it's basically just like a coughing fit um, and I'm trying to help her with that as much as I can you know um, but some days I don't know what to do <laughs> I mean she's okay she's okay um, I'm getting better at being a dog mom is what I'm trying to say it's just it's I'm in my like little learning curve you know um, but anyways okay so <laughs> I've hesitated making uh, another video because <sighs> so since I've cut my dreadlocks it's been very eye-opening of um, neurotic ego versus a healthy ego and in the process of me like deliberating with myself about myself <laughs> I kind of just like came to the conclusion at least for now that um, it, I find it really bizarre and uncomfortable to um, to take pictures of myself and to also like right now for me to be it's okay baby just breathe um, it's just really weird for me to like be to be talking to a camera about myself because like I see myself in the camera and it's it's just really I don't know kind of bizarre almost right like when you look into someone else's eyes you see like literally and figuratively if you know what I mean if you look at someone's eyes and you see your reflection in them that is a natural way to see yourself but this what I'm doing in front of this camera this is really unnatural and it like it, it kind of makes me shake honestly it's it's unhealthy for me because I have an unhealthy view of it so like I'm working on having a healthy view of it so that I can do this better and not be like I don't know the right word, but just like uncomfortable, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just to not be uncomfortable while doing this because I know my intentions are not for my neurotic ego, but for my healthy ego, you know? And so like to find the like space between those two and like the line to cross over, <sighs> that's been a journey for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, yeah, that's, you know, kind of why I've, like, hesitated putting off making a video. It's not from lack of time. I can't lie to y'all about that. I've got a lot of time on my, or I've had a lot of time on my hands <laughs> these past couple months. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, anyway, now that that's out the way, um, life stuff, uh, again, I'm a still a little, like, weird with, like, <laughs> I don't know, never mind. But I'm just gonna go into it, right? Okay? Uh, <laughs> so, um, this past summer, uh, actually last April, 
right when I got Helena, my dog, I purchased a camper van. It's a, uh, a Ram 1500 1999 van um, that this guy in Austin converted. He just like gutted the whole thing and turned it into just this like really awesome like space that you could live in, you know? Um, and so I bought that in April and my plan was to just like desert my whole life like I, I got a storage unit for all my possessions was like just getting rid of as much material objects as I could uh, to like lose my detachment to my things and my comfort zone of like um, just feeling like I'm like in my apartment you know like, it's like I'm in my own little security box you know and it's like I want to get out of the box so that's what I was going through um, and, <laughs> well, things just kind of like, my whole life just kind of flipped after that moment of like buying the van, getting my dog, I started a new relationship, and that just like, all those things combined, oh, and I changed jobs, like, uh. Yeah, I just, I quit my job, um, didn't have any plans to get another job because I'd saved up a lot of cash, so I was just going to be a hobo for a while, really, um, but all these things happened at, <clears throat> excuse me, happened at once, and so before I knew it, my life was just, like, foundation completely, like, like, blown up like someone put dynamite to my foundation basically and I was just like floating around like I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with my life <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I use that time to like meditate a lot read a lot uh, bond with my dog because again she's my first dog so this is like really new to me the whole like human dog relationship is just really like I'm still kind of like learn yeah I'm that like I'm still learning a lot of new things um but yeah so I just like I needed time to like just like analyze my life and like what am I doing what am I representing what am I believing in and what am I letting other people know I believe in through my actions words behaviors and, and posture too like how am I holding myself and in what ways are all those things not in alignment with what I really want in my life to happen you know um, so I just spent a lot of time in contemplative meditation on that and it was really good it was really good um, but you know of course you run out of money you can't really I mean, I could have been like a real hobo with like no food, like nowhere to go, uh, you know, just like really free in it, and I kind of wanted to do that, but I'm not going to lie, that's a bit intimidating, you know, like, homelessness is really, really a, a hard struggle, and I wanted to learn from that struggle, but in the process of me making it to where I would be in that position I just other things spontaneously came into my life that were just like no Ray don't be a hobo <laughs> so I listened to that um, and uh, yeah so you know so I guess I just I learned lessons probably not exactly the same lessons I would have learned through that experience, but really profound lessons that I needed to learn. Uh, so I have no regrets about that. I still have my camper van. It's really cool. Her name is the Gistic Mipsy or the Mystic Gypsy Machine. And uh, oh, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous, y'all. The whole inside is just this little fairy palace. <sighs> and I just, I love taking, you know, her for camping trips and um yeah so that's kind of like been the main thing really i think i pretty much covered up everything i'm surprised i did it very chronologically that's good um yeah so oh well i guess the end of that story is now i'm in a new apartment i just moved in here 
Uh, love it. My favorite apartment I've lived in so far. Um, which is good, you know. It's it's a nice place to come and study and just center myself. Because I'm just, I'm really sensitive to like other people, other people's energies. And not even other people, but the environment, the like, the invisible fields that we, well, some of us can see it, but a lot of us can't see them, you know? Like, I'm just super sensitive to that. And it's like, almost on the verge of being like, debilitating, you know? Um, so I'm working on just like, really like patching up all the holes in my shield around me right now so that I can have also like to filter you know like when other energies come towards me like I just I I'm working on like telling what it is detecting where it came from what its intention is and then filtering out the good parts to come with me and then the bad parts that are gonna make me feel uncomfortable and are gonna make me just not be who I'm, who I am, who I'm meant to be, like just send them out, like, okay, here, that's, that's back for you, because you sent it, this is return to sender, you know, uh, but <sighs> saying it and doing it are two different things, man, it really is, um, so I'm practicing a lot of that right now, um, and it's, you know, I'm making progress, it's good, it's good, um, I just started a new job yesterday, I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm gonna be working with uh, mentally, uh, excuse me, mentally and uh, and physically uh, like disabled citizens, adults. Just kind of like showing them different ways that they can do that. Uh, you know, uh, you know, everybody does these things, but just finding a way to like help them do those things in a way that's better for them like you know you know what I mean um, just stuff like that uh, and I'm really excited I'm so excited because I just ah uh, I just know I'm gonna like not only am I gonna be helping people who need help but I'm gonna be learning so much man just like about life like real life you know ah uh, yeah and I'm just I'm really excited to like take those lessons and then integrate them into my life in a way that like I'll be sharper and here and here you know sharper yet softer at the same time if that makes sense um, yeah uh, that's pretty much it me and Helene are going to the park now to play and uh, oh okay so I feel like I make this comment every winter but I feel like I really need to make it today okay so today is December 11th no 12th December 12th, and it is about 80 degrees outside here in Louisiana. I know most people here are like upset because we had a really hot summer, and so like everybody's expecting like a break from it, but I love it so much, y'all. <laughs> I just like, I love the heat and the sun. I just ah, soak it up. It feels so good. Um, but yeah, so it's hot out here in Louisiana in the middle of December. And so Helene and I are definitely going to take advantage of that. We're going to go hoop outside and play and meditate and pray and play fetch and wrestle and kiss. Because we're in love. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, um, I hope I covered everything that was wanting to be covered. Uh, you guys have any like questions or comments or like advice to give me just like random life advice like let me know cuz I'm all about that <laughs> I need it y'all so send it to me <laughs> um, but yeah so I hope you guys are having a good holiday season wherever you're at and you just keep on doing your thing and spreading love to everybody embracing the dreadlock journey or whatever journey you're on brace it love it learn from it i'll be there again one day i'm thinking in like six years yeah i see it happening <laughs> yeah bye y'all <laughs>